everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. If you've made it this far in the playthrough, then you know we're in chapter 3. Last time we left off, we started... Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! Oh. I noticed you've stopped paying into the box. Oh? I bet sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Mm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. We're in trouble. I'll see what I can do. Oh no. We're in trouble! I don't even remember what I was saying. If you've made it this far in the playthrough, then you know we're still in chapter three. And last episode, we finally started to unpack the gang wars between thing one and thing two. They're both fucked up per our understanding. They both have their own problems. They both have their own secrets even. And that's exactly where we're gonna pick up today. We're gonna continue with the main story and then see where the game takes us as usual. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I've got my coffee. I'm ready for chaos. And without further ado, <laughs> let's get into it. I hear you've been getting into trouble again. What a fun way to start the episode, huh? Where is the box? I, see, that's that's bad on me. That's foul on me because I don't even know where the box is. So I have been upgrading the shit out of this camp. Have I seen anyone? Have I seen anyone donating to the box? 970. Jesus, I got a lot of money. Have I seen anyone donating to this box? Have I seen anyone doing chores? Yeah, it's gonna take a second for my brain to spool, by the way. Nothing like waking up at 5 a.m. to play Red Dead Redemption before work. <laughs> you love to see it. Okay, we have $979, so... Okay. Debt money, diamond brooch, a gold tooth, a goose feather. Alright, these guys are doing chump change. I'm over here bearing the load. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and buy this camp boat. Fuck it. God, it's so cute and cozy. Oh my gosh! Camp fishing trip. You guys want to go on a family fishing trip with me? I feel like that would be so chaotic. I would accidentally fling us all into the water, but it's fine. I'm also gonna go ahead and upgrade this because we're already here. Fuck it. It's not like I ever go to these shops anyways, but... Maybe the gang will get something out of it. Whatever. Oh! There's another upgrade? Okay. We'll stop right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and contribute some... ...money. Mm. Sure. 110. Oh, we're honorable. Look at that. You're telling... So I have $474. I contributed 110. And that raised my honor. How much? Hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out, guys. If we just... What if I give, like, 150 bucks? 250 bucks. Hold up. Hold up. 150 bucks. Just... Okay. Okay. Alright, so we kind of capped out on honor for the day. Got it. Roger. Dude. That boat... I love it. I have this need, this sudden urge to go fishing. Hi everybody, how are we doing this morning? Good job finding this spot. You found it too. I wouldn't have. You hadn't talked me into it. Hmm. Hey, Mary Beth. Hello. I love this game. Oh, question mark, what's the qu oh, that's the new thing I just bought, right? Oh, and Lenny wants to talk. 
You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Yeah, Tilly, I do want to talk as long as it doesn't involve dominoes. You crazy woman. With you. <laughs> I don't know. I What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mhm. Mm How so? I've been killing a lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. Who's been? It's real bad. I know. Who? I just. Me? Well, you know me. Sure, I know you. But then you go act all crazy. Uh, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Have I led Arthur to this? And maybe you're just being a fool. Have I led him down this path? Always that. Of being a killer? Have we done this? <laughs> Poor Arthur, what have I done to you? We've broken the man. Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Nope. Ah. Uh. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Oh? Could be good. Yeah? yeah I oh? I was on roads talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. And now. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that? First? Maybe a nice stash of weapons. You had my interest. Just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Now you have my attention. Oh. Worth taking a look at least. <laughs> I love Arthur. Thing. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear. Deep in the woods. Sounds legit. Okay. My boy. He's like, uh, well, uh, money, you say? Worth taking a look at least, right? <laughs> Chad, Arthur. Shit, yeah, look at that. We got our plans lined up for us. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. <laughs> Feeling like evil at five in the morning. <laughs> My girl, my girl, talking about my girl, my girl. Yeah. You know, I might have met these crazies before. I've been all around the map. You've been drinking again? No. <laughs> well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Ah, they're these little Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. What a woman. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Oh my god. Well, out west, it's out west. I'm gonna mention like one more thing about this, maybe more than that, because it is a huge part of like <laughs> history and life in the game. And sorry, I'm laughing, but I'm just laughing because it makes me <laughs> uncomfortable. And like, it's just it's just kind of funny to me. Someone, um, so in my previous video, for the very first time, I mentioned like I love that Red Dead Redemption is keeping like the historical accuracy of the game. They're not attempting to just like glaze over the fact that there was you know slavery and Native Americans and this entire like thing like like. like everything that's ever happened in history ever basically in the western time period um 
and some i got a, I got a couple comments you guys know i love the creme de la creme i love reading the youtube comments there ain't nothing like it it's just i love you all but there there's a, there's a handful of crazies and someone was like skip to 10 minutes <laughs> skip to 10 minutes in to skip the political commentary i was like what political commentary it's in the fucking game i wasn't just like playing the last of us or like playing something random and like what are you guys opinions on uh, getting vaccinated hey uh you guys remember slavery just like completely out of left field just like playing god of war for the first time or something which i haven't played yet by the way but just like it was totally called for we were playing a game where you are physically running by plantations all of the time and slaves and like your camp is full of so many lost souls from so many walks of life and you're you have the audacity <laughs> i'm whipping out the finger you have the audacity to say skip to the point where there's no political commentary what the fuck it's in the game what did you just play this game and be like yeah we're good <laughs> i don't know if you guys haven't noticed i'm not a huge fan of confrontations but i do like calling out the crazies anyways back to my the non-political gameplay i guess as we're having this casual rockstar put it in the fucking game we're having this casual conversation riding down on horses and lenny is talking about the prejudices he faces and the things that he would experience that arthur would not experience and getting swept up in the night are you serious are you actually serious? What am I supposed to do here? Sit here like a pretty little YouTuber and just be like, Oh my God, that's crazy. Wow, Lenny. Huh? I hate people. Anyways, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just woke up and chose violence this morning, y'all. Let's keep going. Let's keep on going. <laughs> oh my God. who you are. Decent folks. But some places down here... They judge differently. Well, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. Amen. So oh. I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. Me too, Lenny, dude. <laughs> Ride or die. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. God. We haven't seen anything like that in the game. I don't think this far. We've seen a hanging of a guy. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept it in the game, though, if they have some, like... Oh, fuck. Are we gonna experience, like, some white supremacist stuff right now? Oh, man. I need more coffee. Oh like lord. Folks. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Oh god. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these guys <gasps> are sitting on weapons. Ah, is it these guys? You wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. I've already killed them all. Of course. Sons of bitches. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? Are they gonna respawn them yeah, for the mission? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. I've already killed them. got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Oh. Oh, I just killed something. My bad. Oh, but there's a bigger house. Somewhere. Okay. Okay. I wonder if they're gonna just respawn the enemies. Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care to. Wars were something else, man. Strap your bayonet and. Those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I don't think this is the place to be leaving the horses. Oh. Yeah, you're right. I was just, I was just a prank. You were saying? I hear you. Uh. It doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track.
Oh, a carriage. Look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Let's Bye -bye. go, baby. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Mm-hmm. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there. Sure does. It looks like we're on to something. Looks like they're about to blow up, like. I thought we were hanging back. An underground bunker. What are the odds this carriage I means I something? Into the avenue. Oh! Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Come here! <laughs> Cat's just yelling. She just sits there and yells. Me too, girl. I feel you, sister. Hey, Let it out. Big plantation house. Let it out. Be shady bed. Me too. We can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Hey! Sorry. Should I get a cat and name him Arthur? Come on. Or a cat and name her Sadie? Up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Jinx. Loki. And Sadie. Oh fuck, what are they doing up here? My baby girl. Okay, bye bye. Get in cover. I am in cover. First person POV of cement wall. Oh, okay. I need to press Q. Are you seeing the Cement wall. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. There you're all right. Arthur. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Don't whisper like that in my ear. I know dynamite crates when I see them. Jesus. You got something, right? You can be my father. Oh, got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Hell no. Just draw them into one spot. That's a terrible idea, Arthur. Not start shooting. That's the, well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. worst thing you've ever said. I'm always up for the point. Dude, this is about to be so fucked. If Lenny dies, hell no. We're not doing that shit. So? What do we do? I'm killing them. I am sure that would have been very interesting, but I am not risking Lenny's life for a couple of bozos. We're not doing that shit. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if I missed, like, some great dialogue. I don't know if I missed a cutscene, but... We're playing this game the Aurelia way, and I don't trust these fucking... Bitches. Not for one second. My body. Keep your head down. Kid. Keep your head down, kid. Up. Take the shot. Ow. They're 
we go. Jesus. We're all right, boy. We're shooting at the cart. Oh, okay. Bazinga. You're gonna charge me? All right. Whatever works, sweetheart. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. If this was me, with my actual boys, charging into a situation, I would not have done the friendly card. Especially after he just... What he just told me on the horses. How they would just eat him alive. You guys think I'm gonna risk it, really? Have you met me? Just body so far. I'll tell you when that changes. This one looks good. Dang, that a whole camp and everything out here. It's wild. I think we should search the crates, Arthur. That's great, Lenny. Hold on a second. Papa's busy. Searching. I am. A lot of rings and stuff. Gonna have to take a trip to the fence after this one. Fine by me. Wonder if we can loot the house. That'd be pretty rad. Oh my god, what? I thought someone was about to roll up on him. There's someone inside. We not go inside. You think you're going to give me a whole house and I'm not going to try to go inside? Come on. And search the chimney. Nothing? Really? Nothing in this whole house. I see a chest. Really? Nothing? There's gotta be. Is that a money clip? Mm. 
There we go. Thirteen dollars. All right. Nothing? Last room. Pocket watch, Siggies. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Nothing? Did my due diligence. I was expecting like maybe we'd find one of those like like a harmonica or a, a novel, like something for the boys back home, you know? Hmm. Nothing? Gun oil. Cartridges. And get to that one. Glitches self. Hmm. Nothing. Interesting. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Oh, Lord. Yep. You guys can't say I didn't try. Also, I did see in some of the comments that I missed the... I think it was the harmonica in one of the cabins oh, I've already been to. Fall. Um, goodbye. You didn't see that? <laughs> hey, take it easy. I did see that. Come on. G up. Fall in. Yeah, I was like one of the murderers, like I, one of the like Western shooter guys in like the author mission. Right. Coming our way. Keep it together. Here. Hey, stop. What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was, uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lying bastards! <laughs> I killed the horse, damn it. My honor just dipped. I lost all of the honor that I had gained from donating like two hundred dollars. I'm looking, alright? God damn it. I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's 
good to have something to show like Damn that. it, the honor. John's a loud mouth dragon. Don't worry about what Sean does. True. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But enough but nothing. Mean Dutch. And everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. Mm -hmm. You notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Hmm. That was nice. A little pep talk. Everyone needs to hear it every once in a while. Yeah, so I apparently missed a harmonica. Uh, in one of the, like, Arthur... Arthur. Author biography cabins. So I need to go back there and loot, because I just, like, did the thing with the pigs. But didn't hey, check the house. The camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Wow. Bolt action rifles now available to modify in shops. Look at that. Got her done. Got a lot of camp funds. Trying to donate some more to increase my honor again. You spoke in a Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. Good job, Micah. Lucky he made me come for you. <laughs> How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up a moving all the time. Yep, just the way it is. All right, we're in experiment again. Two hundred sixty dollars already in the bank. Let's give a hundred more. Hear me out. All right, it's still about the same. That's enough charity for me for the rest of the game. Yeah. Was up near North Elizabeth. I was fixated on this pocket watch touch had. Big fancy thing it was. It was a greedy bugger. And hungry too. Hadn't eaten in three you days. Okay? Whoops. Yeah. Thought to myself. I'll rob this pair of bastards. So I followed him out of the bar. It was a dark night. I followed him down this alleyway. As I pulled out me gun to threaten him with him in debt. He just stood there laughing at me. I felt like a six-year-old. Go ahead, they says. Shoot us. So I did. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> Nothing. The bastards have spotted me at the bar and taken the bullets out of me gun. So I stood there laughing and crying, and rather than kill me, they took me and got me some food. Oh. And that, of course, was that. Okay, I need to get some sleep. Mm. Pearson? Hello, Mr. Morgan. And you're still just as useless at robbing now. <laughs> it's you who's getting slow, old man. I'm in my prime. God help us. God help us. Jose, how you been? We haven't talked in a while. We should go fishing again soon. That was fun. Corporate job. Yes, I needed that. To clear the mind after every Corporate fishing yep. trip. Oh, 
Uncles. <laughs> Always singing. Okay, I'm gonna go back to bed. I don't want any ring a dang donging. <laughs> nice. A little full night's sleep. I do want to do this fishing thing. It's highlighted at me, but we'll do it another time. I want to do this Dutch thing. That's a really pretty horse. I like the fade. Hi, girl. Girl. Carrot, burdock root, blackberry. Let's go to Dutch. Oh, another Albert mission. Okay, that's interesting. And then I need to go to the to that cabin I was mentioning. I'm not really, like, in a rush for it, but... We've already done the area, so we can just head up that way. Wasn't it, like, quasi near Emerald Ranch? What was that thing called? Yeah, it was like down here somewhere. South of Horseshoe, yep. Okay. Let's go take a gander and see if it's yep. still there. Hopefully it didn't despawn because we've already completed the mission and whatnot. Also, what's better than a little early morning riding? The sounds of nature. The dewy grass. Might as well. Oh, there, mister. Morning. Smokestack. Yeah. Oh, I want to check out those, like, island areas over there. I see shit over there. Yeah. Something tells me this person wants to be left alone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Say less. I've learned my lesson. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, maybe one of these days we can go fishing on that boat. Or we can also take that boat out to the islands. An island man. I want to study your horse. I want to say hi. Hey, partner. Okay. <laughs> some boats, some little islands. Hmm. A large archipelago. Surprised I remember the word archipelago. <laughs> yeah. 
You have just enough fingers to tattoo. Ah, oh, with your thumbs included. Hey, Mr. Exclamation point. <laughs> no, a horse! It's a dead horse? What happened? Oh, hey, it's you there! Think you could help a lady out? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Sure. Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Right, to where? Yep. You know Emerald Ranch? Oh, perfect. Are you taking me there? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a hike, lady. Fuck, that is completely... You know what? As long as you don't mind us taking a little, uh... Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Aww. I think you might have got twisted around. We're busy. Sorry, lady. We had plans. I gotta go over here real quick. Wait. Emerald Ranch is the other way. Give me hey, just a second. What are you doing? Get back on your horse. Okay, just let me off. I'll walk from here. Your ass backwards. You know that. I'm farther now than when I started. Oops. How much honor did I lose for that? Okay, not much. Harmonica! <gasps> Yay! Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. My bad, chick. If we're being honest, she was kind of out of the way anyways. I would like to, like... Go to, uh... The fence. Hmm. Okay, girl. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think I've encountered any of the other areas I'm supposed to go for, like, the crime novel. We found the kids' art book. Do you still need a ride? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Ooh, that's funny. In a messed up kind of way. Hey there, mister. Oh? Is he fishing or something? Good thing I checked my map. I would have driven right past this place. Oh? Mess off your groove. Hello, chum. chum. Hello, chum. You want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry. People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. What a name for a fisherman. Oh. The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. I like how he has to like prove. So not only is this guy, yeah, I'm really famous. He also is like, here's this book that I happen to keep handy that I wrote. Also, here's the newspaper clipping I was in. Like, that's not someone that who's like, uh, I don't know. That's like me being out on the street and like walking down the road and be like, it's fine, everybody. I'm Aurelia. You might have heard of me. I stream and like just advertising to people who did not ask. <laughs> just pull up to the local like Walmart and just be like, oh, you don't, you don't recognize me, Aurelia, from YouTube. <laughs> so stupid. This guy, the clown. You don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. 
Nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, <gasps> they often offer me their daughters. Wow. For a photograph? <laughs> no. To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. Okay. So you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? I got a fish kink. Let me show you. He's Come married up. to him. He stuffs them. Selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it, and I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily <laughs> basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. Women want me. Fish a little. You do. Fish well, fear me. Case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for fifty dollars. I'd give you fifteen. Send you fish. Ooh, my fish card picks and a map. Oh, maybe a shell. <laughs> huh. Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. That's no a lot. wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. Okay. So I'm helping run this ruse. Legendary fish locations. Ooh, okay. And he gave me the map. That's fucking rad. That is so rad. We already found one or two. There's one outside of St. Denis. I pay attention. And there's one in uh, river slash like lake. Up near that waterfall. Up here. Yeah, Legion Pool. That's wild. That's really neat. Send in my fish picks. How do you guys let me say these things? I need to be under watch. Yeehaw! We did not make that jump. God damn it. She's fine. Eat your vegetables. God damn it. Come on, girl. Yep. We're fine. It's fine. Jesus Christ. M me goes down the street to get a harmonica. Also me. Has to, well, tries to give a lady a ride. Doesn't really work out. Also runs into a legendary fisherman. Legendary fisherman. Something tells me he gets a lot of people to help him fish. Treasure maps for sale. Why is it talking to me about uh, treasure maps right now? We've only got two outstanding treasure maps at the moment. We've got the one that had the lake with the turtle rock that I've been still keeping an eye out for. And then we've got the one with the geysers. Geysers? Geysers. Hey, mister. That's one nice looking horse you got there. How about we see how fast it is? First uh, one to Caliga Hall. Where? Oh, there's a fence and roads, too. Sure. Oh, why not? Ready? Let's go. See, this is why we can't get anywhere. This is why we can't do anything. Yep. Good girl. Uh, you good girl? <laughs> yeah. That's my girl. Me and Princess are going to conquer the world someday. There. Oh, there, mister. oh, 
Oh fuck! Straight through the forest? That's not fair. Come on. I was about to take the road. Oh, this is a close call. Fucking god! Whoops! Oh, we're in roads now. Okay, we might as well do this Dutch thing then, I guess. I was gonna stop by and give Sadie her harmonica, but this is way more important. Now what? Darn it! Damn horse acting up on me of all the times. <sighs> <laughs> Good race. Could have gone either way. I wish things was different, but hey. Nothing, just uh Good old fashioned. Okay. Just a little bit of racing. Hey there, mister. Hey, partner. Good morning, friend. Howdy, partner. What are we up to today? Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur. A little sweaty. <laughs> Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to... Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still... Here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Hey, I'm gonna need a drink for this. Strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> oh, excuse me a moment. <laughs> I told you we was moving up in this world. Is that what this is? Jeez. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. It's it is ten in the morning. Sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. <laughs> Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. All right. Climb on up. Let's go. Jinky, you ready for shenanigans, baby girl? How are you? Where are you Pretty going? Good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Hey, Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Okay. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. I'm in the military. I can, I can follow. Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. Hey. Our sure, quiet. Remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? 
You're a big help with them Anderson of course. boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. Wow. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. He's so condescending. I rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners, not just any moonshiners. The Braithwaites. Wait. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. Damn. I have no time for tax dodge. The tea. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But mm. the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine. Arthur. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it? Serving your Dutch country? is so slimy. He's so slimy. I need to write down a list of things we need to do. Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Oh shit. More exotic animals? I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. What in the world? Oh my god. What do you think? No. This must have happened recently. Uh, they're like decomposing. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's true. Hey, come have a look at this. They're pale in the face. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into that. I love. Let's see if we've got any identification. <laughs> How like condescending. Okay. We should get going. Like we've already encountered the Lemoyne Raiders. Here later to clean this up. Fifty times. <laughs> I'll act shocked. <gasps> the Lemoyne Raiders. A carriage. Falling, the rider getting shot. Oh no! Okay. <gasps> Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Oh, of course. I sure. sure. I'll direct you. Sure, sweetheart. Okay. I'll drive. All right, that's a pretty this pointed attack. Smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. God damn. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Seven? Feathers, in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Oh, really? They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. Mm. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. What a combo. Drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. <laughs> he had one tiny hand like a child's on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Even the... Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Even the police oh. hate... Let's see the Braith Raids. about the Greys? How do you feel about the Greys? It's pretty wild. And they're, the Braithwaites are in cahoots with... 
The Lemoyne Raiders? That's fucked, man. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. See, I always say. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence. Archibald. They say in Paris. Par excellence. We Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, it. let my friend here decide. <gasps> he doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. <laughs> Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take this fight. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Dodge. <laughs> we have murdered countless people. We have moved camps. We have caused such a ruckus. And he's he's like, yeah, let's get these degenerates, these tax dodgers. He is Dutch is so slimy. What a a uh, bold leader. What a bold leader. Like, not necessarily in a good way, but like, that's the kind of leader people will follow headfirst, blindfolded into battle because he's just so slick tongue, like golden tongue. How do you say? Remember what he said. We need them alive. You know what I mean? Like, silver tongue. That's what it is, when you can, like, get yourself out of anything. See one by the bridge over there? See one by the bridge over there? There he is. Alright. How do we want to do this? This... This fight? We fist him? Come on, Bill, you got this. <laughs> By the ankles! Oh man, caught him with his pants down. Knock him out. Hog time. What? Oh, okay. I was like, I don't want to come here, I'm busy. Busy lad. Right, let's get this fucker. I mean, this kind gentleman. Pardon my French. We just have one fine chap left. The Moonshiners. That's actually a pretty cool uh, name. There's brewing over here. Carrying him to the wagon. Dude, why did I go this way? I'm such a dummy sometimes. Wraith weights. Hmm. Adam Whoops. Smile, Arthur. Just kick that guy. For no reason. <laughs> I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Oh. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure.
Yeah. Yeah, damn. Arthur, we got some trouble here. Oh. I troubled my middle name. Remember that one time I dead eyed a horse? I've had better days. Where did these sons of bitches come from? The Raiders make the law right now. Boys, we're putting you out of Bob and weave, Arthur. I know you can do the whole Q thing, but we saw how that went. It's not exactly my forte. I just like quick pressing Q and then, or quick pressing middle mouse button and sending it. It's a lot of bodies. Gold pocket watch. Damn, these boys are kind of stacked. Did I get him? Woohoo! Yeet! Oh, that's my friend. Whoopsies. Yeah, I don't really want to loot all these guys. It's kind of a lot of work, but... One of them had a gold pocket watch! Silver ring? Come on. Yeah! It's kind of a lot of booty. And I'm trying to eat the booty. Wait, what? Another gold pocket watch, dude. We're eating good tonight. We're eating good tonight. Woo -hoo. We're eating good tonight. We're eating good tonight. Woo. Yeah. Sorry, Bill. I'm a busy woman. Every single one of these hoes has had jewelry. FYI. You guys can't see it because I got my big head covering it, but like... We got rings, we got bands, we got buckles. These guys got money, money. And I'm not about to pass up. All this. Eating good tonight. Whoop, whoop. Uno. Dos. Tres. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. Ah, qué bueno. Worth. Worth. Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin... You were just going to take all Webster, of it? He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. 
Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, <laughs> a backwater so backwards. Oh my God. We are like geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. That's kind of wild. You ride with me, okay? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all A sides. A backwater so Got backwards. Written all over it. God. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Oh, another one? There, girl. Sure. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. Come on, girl. Yeah, that's my girl. You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Come on. Right, girl. What kind of horse does he have? Jesus. You've done good, he doesn't know I've got this horse. We got the most hearts. We're besties. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, princess. Come on. It's never graceful with you, is it? Come on. Sharp corner. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Oh, come on now. Hell yeah. This music. Come on, we lost him. Come on, come on. Keep it up, keep it up. I want to be surprised. No! Fuck. My finger slipped. I almost got off the horse. I'm spamming a hat. Come on. They're making me sweat. Jeez. Spamming it. My wrist is broken. I never knew you were quite so good. He's got a pretty away. horse. I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> well, time is a bastard. True. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're. I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you are my son. But you're more than that. Jeez. What? Miss. <gasps> Room here by the fire, Arthur. Reverend. Room by the fire hey here, Mr. Morgan. Haha, <laughs> you're the second person to tell me that. Hey there. What? You're a deputy now? Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Here. I got a hold of a harmonica for you. Oh, shit. Look forward to hearing you play. The only audience I ever had was my husband. And I'm gonna keep it that way. Huh. Aww. Fair enough. But thank you, Arthur. 
This is real kind of you. No reason. Just making sure. Okay, Arthur. Very nice. <laughs> My God. You okay, Uncle? Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around to see if I can drum up some leaves. All right. Hey, Arthur. Hey. On? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <laughs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay, all the chores disappeared because we got something to do. Interesting. That was actually a really cool, and this is a really nerdy thing, but um, that was a really cool, like, quest start. Oh, the chore's back. Oh, well, I'm already away. Sucks to suck, Bela Hay. Um, that was a really neat quest interaction, because it's like, she's one of our camp members. She came up and she's like, hey, he needs something you to do something for me. Like, it was very natural. All right, Sean's off in his own little world. Good. Like, it was... It was just very seamless. Hey, yeah, they were talking about going to the stash, and then now they need you to... That was very cool. Hello. She's won two horses today. Or oh, two horses, two races. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. True. Look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Can we keep one or two? For personal it. use? You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. Hell yeah, Hosea. I should get going now. See you, John. A good business bottle. Steal the stash from the people who were selling the stash. And then sell it at more. Let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. Mm-hmm. So what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? Yep. I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Yeah. This time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Ah, we're the so, kind folk. <laughs> these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. <gasps> and, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. That's the spirit. God, this is like... Peak fall time. If they, uh... Had some color changing trees. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Yes. Hello. Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's at the house. All right. This would be quite the Trojan horse. Arrive with, like, vats of moonshine and then... Driver, proceed, please. Vats... Vats of moonshine and then... Dynamite sticks all in the craze. Just lining the wagon and bada bing bada boom you kill the most important person of the house. Is it fucked up that my brain thinks that way? Like that was pretty easy. What do you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought 
Thought maybe you was in the market. We for finally it. meet Catherine. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <sighs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Huh? Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Now look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Oh? Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. Oh, she you knows know the sauce. I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Oh, shit. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama. Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You She's a... Back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. Dude, she's a right. baller. Next stop, the road saloon. What the fork? Here we go. Dude, she's... A force to be reckoned with, that's for sure. Bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Damn. We wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Mm. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Ow. All right. Sorry. Get up the, you and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's yeah. It. The thing going on with the sheriff. Certain ourselves in his blood few. We'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. You know how I feel about I ain't playing dress up. You're not. You're, you're a clown's idiot brother. Oh my god. You're the idiot. Sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that. Aren't True, it's our MO. Put this hat on. <laughs> My God. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. What about you? Oh, you can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> How do I get in? Whoops. Honest foul, I swear. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. We almost made it. No one talk about the driving that has occurred. We're good. Also, I just discovered the braking button this episode. Control? That's why I always fall off my horse. I didn't know there was a brake button. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For mama, she loved you so. Oh my God. Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> you just strangle her, dude. The whole roleplay action is insane. Oh yeah, we got the goods now, baby. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. <laughs> this is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? Go along now. Enjoy the money. 
What in the Come world? On, Just hand out the liquor. Gentlemen. <laughs> Gentlemen. My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yes. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have to actually pour him? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this is up there with the Lenny mission. Eno! This is so fun. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh. I missed what happened. Oof. Oh my god, are these the... He's gonna... Are these the raiders? Coming. Oh my god, the yeet off the balcony. I'm coming. Oh, it is the Lemoyne Raiders. It says it at the bottom. I'm goofy. Go, 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 go. What the? Come on, Fenton! Come on, come on, come on! Yep. I'm getting us out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got out the back! Got more coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then! He shot my horse! Get those bastards! What? Get big boys behind you! I just saw they're coming out of the alley! Get the boot! Dude, I need a... I need my dead eye. not have the dynamite explode in front of us. There's a fucking train? Okay, come on, come on. These are nice people. Don't kill them. that yeah. let me at him let me at him so. Jesus, so 
all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Oh, we're right near camp. All right, we're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. Yeah. <laughs> you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. Hmm. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. To seduce her? Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. Business transaction? So for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. Riz her up. Fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet! <laughs> Fenton. I'll go speak to Dutch. Oh my god. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Mm -hmm. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. I have an idea. I didn't think about this sooner, but oh, I can maybe just maybe. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich is Croesus, and on the other, their mortal this. enemies, the Braithwaites, moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling. Go. We believe in gold, mm. and in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. How's that? So what are you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. I like it. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. Mm. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now you can meet up with them. We got everybody. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback. For my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse Damn. me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. So like this, and then I can switch back to the full screen. I figured it out, guys. It only took me like 5,000 episodes, but now we can easily swap between when there's a cutscene and I can make it full screen for you guys. Wow, that's so much better for the eyes. Wow. If only I had thought of that 5 million years ago. Nonetheless, that was solid, dude. We got Bill coming up. Uh... Doing some shenanigans, and then we got some more... Braithwright, Braithwhite, Gray, tomfoolery going on. 
Oh my gosh. We are stacked. I think we're going to continue the gang wars in the next episode, but this is a good place to stop. Um, we got a lot done. We got to continue our heists. We got to find a legendary fisherman. Most importantly, we got to continue our heist. And I'm only stopping here because I know I could keep going for, I know you guys are like, we'll just do it then. Duh. But I can keep going for a while, but I uh, got to get ready for work. So I appreciate you guys are hanging out with me. Um, next episode will be up soon. And I am really excited to get to business and get to like unhashing these gang wars. Maybe the next one will be a long one because I don't know. I kind of I kind of don't really want to put this down right now, but unfortunately I have to. <laughs> but I'm really excited to get into the rest of the shenanigans. Hold on. I'm going to save. And it's showing that we are at 46.2% done. So... Um, we're getting our way through this game. I'm, yeah, I'm having a blast. I hope you guys are also enjoying the series. Thank you for sitting with me and spending time with me while we get through this game and um, explore this game and enjoy all the little nooks and crannies of it. So I appreciate you all as always. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya!